For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code POODLE at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Poodle back from another Madden Ultimate Team video, and today I got another insane coin method for you guys. So yesterday's coin method, going to be kind of similar, but the difference here is, is that that coin method I posted the day of the coin method, which I realized for you guys, you kind of have to post it the day of sometimes because you don't know it until it happens. But I'm actually, I could predict this one. So this Sunday, there is going to be a very big coin making window as there was. So from for this Sunday, it's going to be a pretty, to explain this for you guys, I don't want to sound, I don't want you guys to confuse you. So until, as they're dropping you power ups, there is going to be a coin making window every Sunday morning specifically. So yesterday's coin making window. Let me show you what I mean by that. So yesterday, these power ups went for a ton. Look up power. I'm going to show you guys right now. So let me see power ups. Let's look up Byron Jones. New power up yesterday. Power ups are very easy to get. And this one went for. Hold up. That's a snipe. Oh my god, I just sniped Byron Jones. Huh. Alright. Boys, there you go. 4K right there. I'm pretty sure he goes. Yeah, he goes to 29K. What are the odds of that? Alright. But that's the method, boys. Thank you for watching. I'm out. I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't leave. That was not the method, but the method is about this card. So these new power-ups are obviously down now, right? They're 30K. Still good, but not as profitable. So now every Sunday when the new power-up drops, the most of the people that are impatient are going to buy them. So they're going to be like 70K. Like Saquon at one point was 80K a few weeks ago. You just buy on Jones was like 60, 70K. Yesterday. So these cards are going to be crazy expensive when they drop. So the way you want to prep for this Sunday, if you watched the last video, you're going to have a similar idea of it, but I'm going to show you how to prep for it. So I have to prep for it. What you're gonna do is, like I've been saying, is open these packs. These packs right here are the move. You open like 10 of these packs, 20 of these packs. So 20 of these packs cost 10K, right? I'm, I have enough silver, so I'm not gonna do it for you. I'm just gonna open you, I'm just gonna open a few, so you guys can get an idea. So I pulled Tyreek Hill out of these. Now, the, the, the goal isn't to pull something out of these packs right here. This is not the goal. The goal is what you're gonna do with these cards. But I'm gonna expand on that method today, because I, I have some more I have some more for you guys than you do. So there you go, you get a gold, you sell the gold. So the gold already made your coins back. Probably about a thousand coins. Plus, depending on what set it's in, or it's Team Diamond um, collection card. So there you go. I'm gonna open like two, one more, one more. And then I'll, I'll get to the set for you guys so don't waste too much time. So if you see this, if you get a power up or a gold out of these cells, but the whole goal is to get the new power up. So I, obviously don't copy what I'm doing right now. Just have this method and this video saved away for Sunday. I'll probably post Sunday again, refreshing it the day of. So when you go over to here in the exchange set, where is it? Okay, right here. So you're gonna go to this low silver to high silver player exchange. So you're gonna take all the silvers you get, right? So let's say you spend 10K on those packs. That gets you 20 silvers. So you're gonna put all 20 silvers into the set, okay? Silver, right? So you're gonna keep doing this till you get a power up card. You're gonna probably get a lot of power up cards because typically the power up overalls are these overalls and they keep adding more power ups. So the goal is to pull a new power-up. Now, if you pull an old power-up, it's not a bad, bad thing, because you can pull a Pat Pete. You can pull a lot of the Odell, Pat Pete, um, even the Legends go for like 2K. If you just pull a power-up, you double, you triple, quadruple your coins almost. Triple. Tripling, depending on which power-up you get. If it's 2.5K, you almost triple your coins per two silvers. Now, obviously some people are better luck than others, but this, this is almost impossible to lose coins on, just because of how cheap it is. It's 500, it's literally 1,000 coins per pack, per se. And then you get those from the other one. And the other one, you can just sell the gold and power to you make points back. And I'm, if you guys don't believe me, go look at my comments in my last video. I probably had like 40 positive comments saying I made 100K, I made 30K, I made 60K. Thank you so much. This was so easy. Go check if you don't believe me. This method works. On, on video yesterday, I got the Tyree kill. And so I got like 20K on video. Now it's just in like within five minutes of me showing you guys. I'm also not going to sit here and keep showing it to you guys. Because again, this is just prepping for it. So you want to get the silvers ready. Yeah, if you have a binder and you haven't cleaned it out in a while, save your silver. You're gonna be cleaning it out for this video. Obviously, it's a little slow right now. I, it's you. I have some. It's like hotter when the new power ups come out. So you want to you want to stay away. Stay tuned for the new power ups. When those come out, that will be Sunday morning at about 10:30. Is when you want to be on top of it. Okay, it's coming up slow right now. I'll do one more. But around 10:30 on Sundays when you want to get them. If you pull them from 10:30 to 11, you made a ton of points because those cards are gonna go upwards to 30k. If you pull two, look right here. So that's power up. Travis Frederick, okay. Probably doesn't go for too much, but again, you make a lot, you make coins back because those power ups go for money. And the silvers you repull, you can just toss them into a coin set, which I'll show you next. Hold up. 
another power up. Justin Houston, okay. Now, let's see. So now we got two more. I'll do, I'll do two more. So now, with leftover silvers, I'll take you guys over to see that you can do for them. You have options, obviously, because silver's going a lot of things. So at the pad, you could do uh, tokens. You can go into sets directly. I'll show you in a second. Last one, give me a power up. All right. So let me go show you. I'm going to go sell all of these. Actually, before I sell them, let me take it to the sets. So you can make tokens out of them. So the high silvers that you can't do anything with, that you just got, and the gold you got, you could go over here, make some silver tokens, toss them in here. Think about it. So, if you, so this is how much it's going to cost you to make a silver token. So you're going to get, at minimum, every... This set right here, if you do all, if you do five of that collection, it'll take you 10 silvers. 10 silvers is 5k with my get up. So with a get a player is 5k, right? For 10 silvers is 5k. So this is going to cost you 5k right here. And these are probably in your binder already. Just toss them all in. You toss all the extras in. This, this whole thing costs, costs you about 6, 7k. Now the token alone, you put into a playbook, you make about 6, 7k. So what you don't, if you don't get a power up, you just toss them back into here. And then you essentially make those coins back. And if you do get a power, you make a ton of coins. So look, if I put all those in there, I'll make my money back right there, right? So I break even just with that set. And you can, you can, you can also do heavyweight sets if you really want. Let me show you that before I get I go on to my collection. If you really want to do that, hold up. If you really want to do that, you can go to earn tokens. Like I said, you get that. And then do token rewards. You can make a flashback set if you really want to with the silvers. You could, you could probably get these. So this is going to cost about like 6K. 18 666 18k if you do it right maybe 20k that'll cost you about 10 so that's 30k if you do this with the power up options up here like 30k this costs you about like 50k so if the flashback's really not worth it anymore it probably more so the heavyweights if you do it properly it could be profitable but i recommend just make the playbook cash out get your money back keep going so now let me show you what i made so i probably spent about like 6k on silvers i did about like 10 of them so yeah about 6k so this justin houston Goes for 2k. The next one goes to 4k. So I'm actually gonna put it up for 3.8. So that's gonna sell obviously because it's only four. Put it up right there. So that's right. Let's say let's go with 3.5. Let's round down a little bit to the, the reduction. So that's 3.5 plus 2k. So that's 5.5. I made 5.5k. So I'm like a thousand short, 500 to a thousand short, depending on I rounded a little bit. So that is I'm a thousand. So far I lost a thousand coins. Now, if I sold all these silvers and made, if I put all these silvers back into the set. I made like, I could probably make two, I could make a silver token out of these. I could sell these golds off, sell these golds for about 1K, 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 let's say that's two, that's 3K, plus make a tall, plus make a playbook, that's 7K, that's 10K, 10K, and that's not even counting the new Byron Jones I just got. So that's like 10K, so I made about 10K doing this. Now, I remember, that's 10K with no luck, and it's not even Sunday. On a Sunday, you pull that new power up, you pull, let's say, let's say they drop a, um, what's the, what are they dropping? They're dropping... A Vikings. Let's say they drop a Kirk Cousins Vikings, right? They drop that card. You get the you get the or let's say not even Kirk Cousins needs a new power up. Let's say you get a card that needs a power up. Let's say Sam Shields gets one. Let's say he gets a new power up. That Sam Shields power up is gonna be going for about 60k, 70k off the bat. So when you're doing it, think about it this way: you pretty much always make your money back, if not profit. So that's good, right? Any set where you're always making money or not even if you can't lose money, it's a good set. Now there's like a five percent possibility that out of like every ten packs you pull, like you pull Byron Jones. This thing goes for a grand total of 40k. So look at that. I just made, I just made 40k. If you pulled the Byron Jones, you make 40k. And the day it came out, it was like, which was yesterday, it was like 70k. That's crazy. That's crazy money for literally doing. When you look at a set, all right, the base you look at in life and anything, risk versus reward. If there's a usually if there's a low risk, there's a low reward. In this case, it's a low. It's almost a low no risk with a high reward. You could literally make millions of coins doing this. Like. My one friend, this guy that I'm always talking to on Twitter, he's been showing me how what he pulls, and that's why I make a lot of these videos because we collab on over there and we talk about these. So he got Byron Jones and like four other guys. He made like 250k in half an hour. Half an hour he made 250k. That's crazy. He gets luckier than me, obviously. I don't do it long enough because I'm focused on making videos for you guys and getting it to you guys. I don't really need the coins as much as you guys do, so I don't really do it myself. I just get it to you guys and then I focus on editing. About the time I get my videos up, the methods are usually dead anyways. But I'm giving this to you guys now so that you have the knowledge come Sunday and then come Sunday you will be ready and you will jump on it at exactly 10 30 and if you're at work or school I mean probably not school but if you're at work that does suck we can, you can still get it done the day of it only goes it only gets less profitable as the day goes on but it's still very useful so don't don't forget this make sure to watch this video thoroughly 
and rewatch it come Sunday morning so that you're ready and you're doing it while you're doing it because it's worth it. I made yesterday with Tyreek Hill and everything about 25K. Obviously, I didn't pull any of the new ones. But a few weeks ago, I did pull one of the new ones. I made about 40K. And I don't do it. If you sit here for like two hours doing this, you'll definitely make coins. Go look at my comments from my last video. If you don't believe me, go over to the other video. I'll link it at the end of this in the uh, outro. I got like 40 likes saying, I made money, I made money. Not, not one person commented, I lost money. Not one person commented, this sucks, I lost money. So, that's about it. I got one negative comment saying, you know, um, I don't have a million coins, so I can't speak on methods, which doesn't make sense because my team's worth like 10 to 20 million coins. But I guess because I don't have the coins sitting there, I must... I must be dumb and I must not know what I'm talking about, right? Well, anyways, enough of that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys helped. This helps you and you make coins. Comment down below how much you guys make and what you guys pull. And if you're ready for Sunday. Because if you guys pull something great, let me know. I, it, I love knowing that it helps you guys. Because if it helps you guys, I'll keep adding to it and making variations of it and trying to like capitalize on it more. If it, if it helps everyone. If it only helps some people, it's not as good. But this one seems to help a lot of people. So... Just keep me keep in touch. Comment down below what what you got, how much you made. Also, if you haven't, go drop the sub. Our channel kind of blew up yesterday. The video we made yesterday, going over these, I got about a thousand four hundred views as of now, which is crazy considering I haven't had a view. I almost all my videos get two hundred views. I'm a new channel. I went from three hundred seventy subs yesterday to four hundred ten. So if everyone watching this could go, go drop the sub. It really helps. I asked you guys yesterday. I'm giving you guys a goal, a thousand by the beginning of May, and you guys are on pace to do that. So if everyone here, if I get another thousand views in this video, everyone watching, drop the sub. You could literally take me over the top one day. That'd be crazy. Everyone, if you guys, if you guys make coins off this, drop the sub. If you've already a sub, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm loving the support. But if you're not, can we get to also? I'm gonna give you guys a like goal. I've never done this before. If you guys can get me to 50 likes in this video, to all the little subs watching this, 50 likes, 50 to 100 likes, anywhere between there, or more, obviously, I will keep dropping more coin methods that I get as they come, and I won't, I won't wait on them. I'll make sure I'll do. I'll give you guys prep coin methods. If you guys get me 50 to 100, I won't do it the day of. I'll do it before, so you guys don't have to. You guys don't have to watch the video. You guys already know what to do when you're ready for it. So, 50 to 100 likes. And if you guys get any other things you want me to do, comment it down below for videos, and that's it. So I'm out, guys. Sub down below. Comment down below. Drop the like. I'll see you guys later. I'm out.